whoever's in Quintana Roo, man, I just read that message. Um, what's up to you, man? Where? Uh, in the chat? Yeah, Ducky, man. Oh, Ducky. I, I miss it. That was like our third home. I miss Cancun, especially. I was going to ask you that, too. Like, how much do you guys miss Chicago? Oh, man. Honestly, it's sad to see how, how bad the city has gotten. I hate when I hear them trashing downtown. You know what I'm saying? For some, you know, some petty ass shit. That, that bothers me, you know? Like, you know, like most of that stuff stood in the neighborhoods. I mean, it's sad to, to hear that, to see that on, on the news and stuff. But um, of course, man, we miss it. It's always been home, you know? But for some reason, I think that Jay will agree, like Mexico, man, it, you know, we miss it probably a little more at times, you know? Yeah, I, I, I think, well, you know, but Chicago will always be, you know, big in our hearts for sure. Um, I miss the food, that's for sure. Uh, I miss, you know, the pizza, just, you know, how it is, like the life, the culture in Chicago is different. But um, I think with Mexico, it just, it was peaceful, right? It was like a, besides all the stuff we went through, but the life. I was going to say, know, there's different. a lot of irony, irony in, in it being peaceful like that. Well, yeah, I think stepping away from like, you know, you grew up in a, you know, in a neighborhood, most people don't venture out. You, you're in that stuck in that one mile radius and you feel like that's the world. And once you start getting out and, and you have to get out and you, you explore, and you live certain things, it opens your eyes to like so much, you know? And, um, and, uh, I think for Jay and I, like Mexico was like a place of like, we've kind of like grew a little bit and we enjoyed the family time and stuff like that, you know, besides, and most importantly, I think we felt some peace, like, all oh, the feds ain't going to kick in that door, you know? Yeah, but your friends might, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. The problem. yeah, but your you're, you're, it doesn't matter what country or what city you live in, your friends are always going to be the ones. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm so, on the other side of my door so right now. Friends, associates, and I, you know, I think that's the bigger part of our story, right? That right. a lot of stuff that that you go through and been through is all those people who are closest to you. You know what I'm saying? Did you guys ever give serious thought into escaping to another country and changing identities rather than cooperating? Of course, man. It was, that was our first thought, but you weren't ever going to get that off your, your shoulders, man. You got a life sentence hanging over your head. You want to wait. You, do you want to risk that? Do you want to be somewhere in Spain and they grab you like they did Chino Antrax and you're, you're done? Mm. You know, and you're being extradited back to the U.S. the next day. I mean, and then to face those things. And then, of course, leaving your family behind. Are they going to want to move with you, you know? I mean, there was a lot. And then you got to think about how do you... There's so many obstacles in that. You know, you could run. Then how do you take care of yourself, like, while you're on the run, you know? Right. How you gonna how you going to make more money? No, not, not even the money part. Like, how do you move a boatload of money out overseas, you know? You know, how do you do that? How do you, you know, what do you, it, it was just so many, you know, questions. Yeah, it's like creating new routes all over again in other yeah. countries. And, shit. and then you're thinking like, man, then they catch you one day and you're done. You know, the life you were chasing just is, is, is not promised to you, you know? Right. I mean, it sounds good, but it's not a movie. It's reality. You got to think about the consequences, you know, right. like the risk. You know, I used to think, oh, man, I'll go to Canada and just live, you know? Right. And figure it out. But it's again, they catch you and you're done. You know, imagine they catch you not, not you know, within a year, not five, 10, 15 years and the opportunity to even, you know, to make a deal or to save yourself is Off gone, you know? Right, yeah. And then now you have, instead of facing those two, three indictments, now you have 25 of them. 